I'm sure that by now you all have heard of Sonic Boom, which was something that was actually announced like months and months ago. Um, but today was a big day about it and just talking about um, how it is an animated series going to be coming to Cartoon Network. I believe it's like 52 to 57-ish episodes, um, basically the same length as Sonic X was. Um, and there's also a game with it too, which is going to come out for the Wii U and the 3DS. Now. Here's the thing, I didn't even know that they were going to announce all this until yesterday. I don't know where I've been, but I didn't even know that all this thing, all this like conference was like happening in, happening in, in New York and all that. So this is all very new to me. Um, but basically, uh, I was scrolling down and then I saw um, artwork from the uh from sonic boom and i just saw it on facebook and at first i thought people just took the shadows from um the original picture that we got a few months ago like just like the silhouettes of the sonic characters i thought that someone had just taken those and then filled them in with their own artwork like i thought it was a fan art um mostly because the characters looked really different and it ended up that it was not a fan art it was actually very official now my first impressions of the character designs were not a good thing i'm just saying I notice things, uh, like when characters change, I notice it. Um, for example, the first thing that I noticed, obviously we noticed this back when the silhouettes were released, Knuckles is huge. Not, not sure why, maybe they wanted to give him that like feel like he's a power character, like Big and E123 and uh, Vector are and stuff. But I just feel like they really shouldn't have, like, done that so fast. Um, reason being is because it's just such a dramatic, like, change that I cannot take it seriously. Like, when I watch the trailer, I cannot take Knuckles seriously. He looks like a big old goofball. Like, and then his concept art is just, is so goofy. And he's got this little, like, smile on his face. I was like, this just does not remind me of Knuckles. It's like a whole new character. It's really weird. I feel like that if they would have, like, started to make him, um, more bulky as each game went along and then slowly built up to that character design, that would have been, like, a lot better. But no, it was just like, boom, he's just on steroids or something. It's weird. Um, so that was, like, obviously the first thing that a lot of people noticed, and then I kept staring at the artwork, and I noticed that, um, Sonic now has blue arms, and if you haven't noticed, <laughs> Sonic normally has peach, peach color arms, like, on this cup, you know, his arms are indeed a peach color, and they do indeed match his face and his belly, and they always have, you know, ever since he came out, that's the way it's been, um, and it was really weird. I was like, okay, he has he has blue arms, and I don't understand that change either. Like, how it makes him look cooler. I don't think it changes anything. I think it makes the design look probably even like less unique. Like, I I'm one of those people that I notice these things and they bother me. Like, I remember like Sonic Adventure. <laughs> this is really weird, but in Sonic Adventure, when Sonic blinks, his eyelids are blue. In Sonic Adventure 2, when Sonic blinks, his eyelids are peach colored. And like I noticed that playing Sonic Adventure 2 and I was like, that's different and it like bothers me. And I guess it's just like like the art major within me and like drawing on this stuff that just it bothers me. It really does. Um like any any kind of like tweak to a character, it like really, really bothers me for some reason. And so I guess like the blue arms is just it almost feels like it's not like officially Sonic, like or it's not even Sonic. It just feels like it's um very fan made. So I wasn't all crazy about that. Um, well then I I moved on to reading some more of the news and I watched the video game trailer, which is pretty mind blowing. And I was very very excited um to see that it kind of had this heroes feel to it, like because all the characters were running together. And I don't know if that was like actual like video game footage uh, of like playing the game. But if it was, it looks very heroish, which I would love because I'm in love with Sonic Heroes and it was a really good game and I want them to do more with it. So if they kind of combined all these characters together and that you play them, play with them, like switch them out to do different things in the level, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, the game the game looks really really fun. It looks kind of cheesy, but I mean, so did Sonic Lost World, and it was still a fun game. I mean, it wasn't like the funnest game ever, but it was still fun. Um. 
And I will say that Amy's character design is so cool. And, you know, I'm such a fangirl for Amy. And, like, she just looks so much more B.A. in that outfit than she does in her little um, red dress. Like, oh, I'm totally going to have to cosplay as her in that outfit. It's so cool. Um, then, like, in also with the character designs, so just going back to that, they also have, like, bandages. And, like, Sonic has this, like, brown bandana. And I'm like... I don't really know why you need that you've never needed it before but okay we'll go with some change so it's really weird it's kind of like over the top with the bandages but I don't really understand so I guess we'll find out when the video game or the show comes out so um then uh Tails' design looks great I love the goggles the goggles add that like um that like airplane pilot look and it looks really good so no complaints about Tails at all um and no complaints about Amy it's just Sonic and Knuckles that were kind of weird um, I will say that I would love to see signs of Shadow and Rouge, um, that would be nice, and we haven't seen any signs of them yet, it's just, I'm kind of scared, it's like, are they gonna, um, are they gonna bring Shadow in, and is he going to, like, be designed really weird, like, that'd be really, really weird, or, who knows what they're gonna do with Rouge, they change Rouge's outfit and face and makeup every time you turn around, so there's no telling what they're gonna do with Rouge, um, but, but nonetheless, it looks really, really cool. And then the the game was, and then um, I watched the uh, the clip from one of the episodes that they're gonna air for the Sonic Boom TV show, and that was really cheesy. Wow, it was cheesy. But it was kind of cheesy in the good way because let's admit, everything in the Sonic franchise is basically really cheesy. If you've seen the Sonic the Hedgehog OVA movie, that's cheesy to no end. Um, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is cheesy, but it's supposed to be cheesy because it's comedy based. And um, even even uh, Sonic X, like at least the English dub and the Japanese dub to some extent, but especially the English dub, is very, very cheesy. So Sonic's just cheesy in general, so I guess that's something that we should be used to. Um, and it, uh, the script writing was really weird. Like, there's this one part where. Sonic's like, hey, Egghead, and Eggman's like, my name's not Egghead, it's Eggman, you just do that on purpose, and Sonic goes, what, Egghead? I'm like, that's not funny, that's just not funny, but I guess the little kids, which is what the show's aimed at, I guess it's funny, I guess it's funny. There were parts that, that made me laugh, like when Sonic was all like, Eggman, you, you named your robot, whatever it was, uh, Flame something, and Sonic's like, that's false advertising! Like, that was really funny. I thought that that was funny, and I laughed. Tails' tornado changed, which it always changes, but it looked really, really cool. I liked, I like it. Um, except for at the end of the clip, if you guys seen the, um, the cartoon clip, which I'll put all the links at the bottom so you guys can watch them. Uh, Tails is, Tails at the end of the clip, he, like, has a wreck. What do you call airplane wrecks? Airplane crash. He had an airplane crash. And I was really sad. He does it a lot, though. I'm pretty sure he's alright, so no worries. It's not like a big uh, cliffhanger or anything. He'll be alright. I would have liked to see Amy in the cartoon. I, I think she still has that voice actor that she's had for a while with the really squeaky Minnie Mouse voice. I, I'm, I'm particular to Lisa Ortiz voicing Amy, who voiced for Sonic X and, um, like, Sonic Riders... And Shadow the Hedgehog and stuff. And I love I love her voice for Amy, but then she got replaced by some girl I don't remember the name of, and it's just not as good. But eh, hopefully I just want Amy to be so cool in this. Like if Amy can be cool in this, like Amy's always cool. What's she talking about? Like, but I'm really excited to see what Amy's gonna do. Like I'm really excited that that, that they didn't go the um the route that everyone probably wanted, which was Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, and Shadow. Like, they, people probably wanted those characters to be the main focus point, but I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they added Amy, because, like, Amy is more, you know, retro than Shadow, so I guess they wanted to go with, like, the original characters that they always had. So that's really cool, and I'm really glad that they have Amy. I'm so excited for it. Um, but yeah, the show is going to be airing on Cartoon Network, <laughs> which I don't have because I'm in college, but... Um, I'll get it eventually. So it's Aerion Cartoon Network. Um, the video game's coming out for the Wii U and 3DS, which is kind of nice because I have a 3DS, but kind of not nice because I don't have a Wii U, and now I have more reasons to get a Wii U than I originally had. <laughs> um, I would have liked to see this go multi-plat, though, not gonna lie. I would have loved to see it for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Like, I, I know that they're, like, they're with this, like, packed with Nintendo that they're gonna release a lot of Sonic games on Nintendo systems, but, whew, I would love to see it 
on other systems, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, those are my, basically my thoughts about it. I don't really know what else to say about it, um, but if you guys have anything to say about it, just, like, do a video response. Like, I love video responses. Or just leave a comment, that'd be cool too. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm really gonna say about it. I'm really excited and stoked for what's to come through this. The only thing that I really, really don't like... The only thing that I don't like is Knuckles and Sonic's character design, and it's, it's not even like, Sonic's spines are fine, like his, like his spine's a little more furry, which is totally fine, but it's his blue arms that I can't, like, and it's such a small thing, and everyone can be like, well, you're complaining too much over a little small thing. I'm sorry, but I grew up with this, like, Sonic with the, the, the peach-colored arms, and, and my Sonic over here has peach arms, and I don't know, it just bothers me, like, okay, when they gave Sonic green eyes, like, that was, like, I think that was, like, a different thing, and I like the fact that they ended up gre giving him green eyes when Sonic Adventure came out, but making his arms blue, what? I don't understand, I really hate it, I don't want to say that I hate it, but I really do, like, I hate it, um, but yeah, that's basically the only thing, and then Knuckles just looks ridiculous, but, um, I'm sorry, Knuckles is cool and all, but he just looks ridiculous. But, either way, I'm very, very hopeful for this. I think it looks really, really awesome. A little cheesy, but that's okay. Sonic's supposed to be cheesy. Um, but I just want to know your thoughts. Overall, my thoughts are definitely positive. Don't think don't think that anything I say about this negatively means that I'm not going to like it. But I definitely do like it. So, anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. And put comments about what you think about Sonic Boom. Anyway, guys, talk to you later.